Hi, alright, in this video, I'm going to uh, teach you how to find the uh, sum of the terms, okay? Sum of the first n term of an arithmetic sequence and series. So, as you know, that the sum of a formula for sum, uh, your Sn, alright, your Sn, for an arithmetic series, as I uh, derived in the previous video, it will be n over 2. Uh, 2a plus n minus 1d right n minus 1d so this will be the formula for sum of the first n term of an arithmetic series yeah? so let's say there is another form okay another form this is the or or you can use n over 2 uh, which is a plus with the last term right i have tell you how i get the last term right so i have uh, you can try to uh, look at the video for the derivation of the sum of the first n term, all right? So for this question, uh, the question saying that, uh, find the sum of all the terms, find the sum of all the terms for the following arithmetic series, right? This is the arithmetic series, it's not sequence, it's a series. Because why? You see that it's an addition, right? You add, right? you keep adding, right? So it means that if you add up all this value, they will have a total value, right? Uh, so, but th if this is an arithmetic series, you can use that formula, right? Arithmetic series. So now I consider this to my first term. So the first term will be 62. Very easy. When you see this type of case, you identify for the first term. And the common difference. Okay, common difference. Okay, why is the difference? So you see, the value getting smaller and smaller. Because why? You less by 2. So it minus 2, right? So the common difference is negative 2, right? Or you take 60 minus 62, you have negative 2. Alright, you have your A, you have your D. But if you want to find the sum of the n term, you want the sum, sum of the n term, you need to know how many terms, right? How many terms are there from 62 up to 38? There are how many terms? You have A, you have D, but you don't have the n. So in the previous lesson, uh, I have teach you how to find the number of terms of an arithmetic uh, series, right? How many terms here? Also, I will assume this to the n term, right? Because T1, this is T1, this is T2, T3, there's T4, T5, T6, T5, until this is a Tn. If you know the value of n here, you will know there are how many terms here. If let's say this is 20, then you have 20 terms, right? So now I just assume this. Okay, I just let it to be Tn equals to 38. So Tn, the formula for Tn, right? The formula for n term of an arithmetic series will be a plus n minus 1d, right? a plus n minus 1d. So I'm going to apply for this formula. So a, so your a will be 62 plus b n minus 1d, right? Your d is negative 2 equals to 38, right? Uh, so then you have uh, n minus 1 negative 2 equals to 38 minus 62 right 38 minus 62 or you take 62 minus 38 then you have uh, 5 then you have uh, 12 here 12 here you have 4 so you have 2 here right 24 all right you have 24 here so means that sorry negative 24 because you take 38 minus 62 you have negative 24 right so then you divide both sides by negative 2, you will have negative 24, uh, negative 24 divided by negative 2, then you have n minus 1 equals to 12, which gives you n have a total of 13 term. Okay, we have total total of 13 term. So now you alright, so you have n equals to 13, right? Uh, 13. So you have uh, 13 term means T1, T2, T3, T4. This is your 13 term. Means total, the series have 13 term, right? So you know that if you want to sum up everything, there are sum of the 13, all the term, right? The 13 term. So it will be 13 over 2, right? 13 over 2, N over 2, 13 over 2, 2A, two 2A, two 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 times A. 62 plus with n minus 1, 13 minus 1d, negative 2, right? 
Uh, so just apply the formula, then you can 2 times 62 plus with 12 multiply with negative 2. You have 100 here, right? Uh, you have 100 inside here. 100. So it will be uh, times with 13 divided by 2. Then you have 650. Alright? Uh, if you total up everything here, you have 650. Alright? Uh, so this is the sum of the 13 term for this series. You sum all the terms, you have 650. Right? So now uh, let's move on to uh, these examples. Alright? So <clears throat> it's the same thing, alright? I just do it uh, so that you understand. So now you have this also have a first term, right? First term one. And your uh, common difference is you take 3 minus 1, you have 2, right? You add in 2, plus 2, plus 2, right? So you have your first term and you have your common difference here. So, <clears throat> so this will be your n term. You want to find for n term, right? How many terms here? So, okay, my n term is 2n minus 1. Actually, if you uh, understand the formula for uh, odd number, this is a term for odd number, all right? Uh, Okay, this one, 1 plus, I will use Tn, uh, 1 plus n minus 1, d equals to 2n minus 1. So I know that uh, n minus 1 multiplied 2 equals to 2n minus 1, minus 1, you have negative 2, right? So we divide everything by 2, divide by 2, you have n minus 1. So you have n equals to n. So it means that this whole series, there are n terms. Okay, now, there are n terms because the n term is the n itself. So this whole thing is the n term. So it means you want to find the sum of the first n term because this is n, right? There are n term. If this one, you have 13. Uh, so you have n term. So the n over 2 uh, is remain the same. You have n over 2. 2 times a. Your a is 1. Uh, plus with uh, n minus 1d, right? n minus 1d. So n minus 1, your d is 2. Uh, now you simplify, right? You simplify the, the algebra here. So you have n over 2, 2 plus with 2n minus 2. So you have sn equals to 2 minus 2 is 0. 2n divided by n is 2. 2, 2, so you have n to the power of 2. Ah, you have n to the power of 2. So, is it correct or not? Hello, if you're interested, you can see uh, my video. You don't pause, you, you, uh, you keep watching my video, you see. Uh, this one, if n is 1, you will get 1, right? Uh, this is your S2, right? This is your S2. Let's check, uh, let's check. S2, uh, 2, this is n equals to 2. So if you put 2, 2 square, you get 4, right? Because 1 plus 3 is 4. Because S2 is 4. From here, okay, I'm going to erase this. Uh, I hope you can see the pattern. The formula is valid, you know. Because when n is 2, your S2 is 1 plus 3 is 4, which is 2 square, right? So how about S3? I do sum for you so that you can see the pattern. So if n equals to 3, it means S3. What is S3? S3 is 1 plus 3 plus 5, right? I total up. T1 plus T2 plus T3 is S3. So you will get 8, right? You will get 8. Ah, what is 8? 8 is 3. Uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, 5 plus 3 plus 1 is 9. Sorry, it's 9. So if you see that, 3. If you take 3 squared, is it 9? Yes, it's true. S3 is 9. Okay, let's say if 4. I do again because 1, 3, 5 here will be 7, right? Will be 7. So if I have uh, S4, S4 will be uh, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. 9 plus 7, you have uh, 16, right? 16. So you see, what is 16? 16 is 4 square. Yes, it's follow this formula. Means when S4 is 4 square, all right? Uh, you will get 16. So means that this formula is valid for these cases. So this is how you apply the formula for sum of the first m term. Okay, there are also students asking me that, Sir, can I apply this formula? Can I apply this formula n over 2, a plus l? 
Ah, sir, can you talk about this formula or not? So you apply, you can apply this formula. What is the condition if you want to apply this formula? First, you must know the last term. Is the last term given? Adakah sebutan terakhir diberi? Yes, diberi. The last term in this case, okay, alternative. Uh, this is alternative. Uh, alternative. So the last term in this case is 38. Uh, so the formula, the S13, 13 over 2, A plus L. What's your A? Uh, 62 plus with 38. Uh, you check, will you get the same answer? 62 plus 38 times with 13 divided by 2. Yes, you get 650. The answer is the same, right? You can apply this formula. It's the same also. For this, you apply uh, <coughs> the second formula. All right? Uh, you can try. So, see that? If I have Sn, uh, I apply the formula A. N is N. N over 2, right? N over 2. A. A is 1, right? A is 1. 1 plus last term. The last term is 2N minus 1. So, you have N over 2. 1 minus 1, 0. You have 2n. The 2 and the 2 cancel. n, n. Yes, you still get n to the power of 2. Uh, this is the another alternative. Alright? But this formula only can use when it's given the last term. Alright? Okay, that's all for this uh, video.